Tuesday answers. Question one. Dan started learning to play the trumpet on the 1st of July. It is now the 1st of October. How long has Dan been playing the trumpet? Give your answer in weeks and days. 30 days in September, April, June and November. All the rest have 31 except February. So July was 31 days. August 31 days. September 30 days. October, just the one day because it's the 1st of October. Then we need to add them up. 93 days altogether, but we want the answer in weeks and days. One week is seven days, so we need to divide 93 by seven. And the answer is 13 remainder two. 13 weeks and two days. Question two. To find the highest common factor, we need to decide what numbers will divide into both of these numbers, 144 and 246, and then we need to pick the highest number that divides into both. That would be the highest common factor. The best way to tackle this is to take the 144 first and divide it by different numbers, starting with the lowest, which is 2. So 2 goes into 144 72 times, so 2 and 72 are factors. Try 3. 3 and 48 are factors. Try 4. Four and thirty-six are factors. Five won't go because it doesn't end in a five. Try six. Six and fourteen goes two, remainder two. Six and twenty-four are factors. And I think we're done there. So now we do the same thing with the 246. Divide it by 2, then 3, then 4, and so on. And we end up with a list. And we see that in both lists is the number 6. And that is the highest number that is in both lists. So 6 is the highest common factor. 7 and 3 quarters take away 30 sixteenths. Turn the mixed number into an improper fraction. Well, to make one whole one, we need 4 quarters. And in our mixed number, we have 7 lots of 4 quarters. 7 lots of 4 quarters is 28 quarters. So we can turn 7 and 3 quarters into 28 quarters. Now we can take our 3 quarters and we've got 30 sixteenths to take off that. We need to add these together. 31 and a quarter take away 30 sixteenths. Can't be done because the denominators are different. We're looking for a number that both denominators can be made into. And we find that 4 goes into 16 four times. So we're going to have 124 sixteenths take away 30 sixteenths. The denominators are now the same, so we can ignore the bottoms and subtract the tops. And we get the answer 94 sixteenths, which is an improper fraction. Before I try and turn it into a proper fraction, a mixed number, 
I'm going to simplify it. 94 and 16 are both even, so they will divide by 2, which gives me 47 eighths, which is a much easier number to turn back into a mixed number, because I can divide easily by 8. How many eighths in 47? Well, 5 eighths are 40, and the remainder is 7. And because we're dealing in eighths, the remainder is 7 eighths. Question 4. The sides of the rectangle has been enlarged by scaling by a factor of 2. What was the area of the rectangle before it was enlarged? Before it was enlarged by a factor of 2, it was smaller. So first, scale it back down again. It was enlarged by a factor of 2, so we'll make it smaller by a factor of 2, which means divide the 6 by 2 to get 3, and divide the 12 by 2 to get 6. Now we can calculate what the area was before it was enlarged. It was 3 times 6, which is 18 centimetres squared. 27 sweets are shared between four people. How many of the sweets cannot be shared if everyone has an equal number of sweets? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and I've got three sweets left over. 27 divided by 4 is 6, remainder 3. And the remainder is the sweets that cannot be shared. Three sweets cannot be shared.